Wow! That, of course, was shot in very beautiful, poop-filled San Francisco where there's a police car outside of the frickin' store and it still doesn't stop looters and thieves. Holy frickin' cow. Wow! Come back. Beautiful and amazing human beings. My name's Luke Radowski here of WeAreChange.org, and there's a lot of absolutely wild and absurd news out there. Lots of disinformation, lots of propaganda that people are just eating up in record numbers. All of this as, of course, there are now calls to ban Tucker Carlson from Europe and to sanction him for daring to do an interview that, of course, everyone is waiting to be released very soon. What are the grander implications here as, of course, we have a regime that is looting and stealing from you more than ever. Well, we're going to be talking about that, plus all the latest news here in this independent media broadcast. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing, you can get it on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. And the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast was once again shared by at Clown World, highlighting how 49 iPhones were stolen from an Apple store in the Bay Area with literal police officers outside. Yes, this is this is the level of brazenness. This is the level of absurdity that people have to deal with every single day. As, of course, it's not just the corporate chains. It's also small mom and pop businesses that are routinely targeted, that are robbed as police officers literally sit on their hands and decide to do nothing about it. And it's not just that they can't do anything about it. They're forbidden to do anything about it from, of course, paid off district attorneys that work for one particular billionaire that we can't even mention here on this particular broadcast. Now, let's just be honest here. This kind of low-level theft is nothing compared to the theft that's happening within the U.S. federal government, as, of course, what is happening right now under the Biden administration, especially when it comes to inflation, which is one of the biggest tax on the poorest people in the United States, especially when it comes to the devaluing attacks on the purchasing power of the U.S. petrodollar, especially when it comes to the U.S. Federal Reserve indebting this country more and more. We have to understand that we're dealing with an absolutely hostile situation. This all under the presidential policies of Joe Biden, who uh, is not really coherent, is not really there, and let's just be honest with ourselves, is not really calling the shots here, as, of course, some of the most unpopular policies on the face of this earth have been pushed through him as he's barely able to make coherent sentences together with the latest video with him mumbling and confusing the American people with foreign enemies. There is some movement, and I don't want to, I don't want to, well, maybe choose my words. There's some movement. There's been a response from the, uh, the, the, there's been a response from the opposition, but um, it, it, yes, I'm sorry, from Hamas, but it seems to be uh, a little over the top. We're not sure where it is. There's a continuing negotiation right now. Yeah, and if that doesn't breed success or your trust and confidence in the system, I don't know what will, as of course it is allegedly Biden that is also pushing down new regulations on the American people, specifically on manufacturing in this country, all in an effort to make the quote weather gooder, and in all reality, it's just shooting America in the foot. As a new crackdown is expected on American businesses, as the EPA released new regulations Wednesday morning, limiting the amount of energy that companies are going to be able to, of course, release or use for their businesses, leaving many Americans who are already struggling to survive asking themselves, why, why are we doing this? What's the, what's the benefit? As, of course, it definitely does look like the tide is shifting, as even the U.S. House of Congress rejected a bill with 250 votes going up against the bill to send Israel $17.6 billion. Why are we deciding to send so much of our money to foreign places? Why are we destroying domestic manufacturing? Why are we making it more and more difficult for people to survive? Why is housing becoming more expensive? Why are people allowed in with labor being, of course, reduced in its market value? What in the world is going on here? Well... It's a deliberate destruction of the United States from within. That's my own personal opinion. That's my own personal perspective. And I'm still saving a whole bunch of other things that I want to say 
that I'm going to have to save for LukeUnfiltered.com, our own website, our own platform where we are safe to say and do whatever we want. We do a lot of really cool things. We do AMAs, we do meetups in real life, we do giveaways, we do contests, we do content for the members almost every single day. And as a member, you get the ability to call in to our live podcast show as, of course, we have some really Awesome, incredible human beings joining us this week and have already joined us. Yesterday, we had conservative Ant. The day before that, we had Martha Bueno. Today, 6 p.m. Eastern, we are going to be having Joey B. Tunes on this show, on this platform, live in studio with us, taking your questions, questions only from members of LukeUnfiltered.com. They get access to a special Telegram channel, a Telegram channel that I am talking to and watching during the show that you guys get to actively participate in and be a part of. We definitely need your support more than ever, and just for $8 a month, you guys get to sign up and get a lot of really incredible offers of value. If you have the means to sign up for more, we definitely have other tiers of memberships that are awesome to look at and to investigate as, of course, you get access to our newsroom. You get access to me, to individuals working with our company, as we even have a tier that, that you could sign up for $99 and you get a lot more. Then, of course, just the kind of light membership that we have available for everyone through lookunfilter.com. As, of course, times are difficult. We definitely know that here. And again, your support is more crucially important than ever. And if you thought about doing it before, now's the perfect time to do it. Click the link down in the description below and sign up right now to lookunfiltered.com. Click this button right here. You just put in a little bit of information, you get emailed back a login, and you get access to 10 plus years of content centered towards helping you make the right decisions for yourself. As of course, I had a lot of members reach out to me personally and say, hey, that little piece of information during that key critical moment in time was absolutely imperative for me and absolutely helped me not be a victim of the larger predator class that, of course, preys off of people's ignorance. We fight back with information. We fight back with making sure we're going to become the best, healthiest, strongest versions of ourselves all on LukeUnfiltered.com. See you right there. After this broadcast, as of course, we are not done here, as it looks like a lot of things are changing domestically here inside of the United States, as the head of the RNC, Rana McDaniel, just stepped down in a major move that many people are calling a cultural shift within the Republican Party that is moving away from the Mitt Romney, John McCain, neoconservative rhinos and going more towards an America first policy that Benny Johnson has described as a 100% grassroots movement. Going on and talking about a technotic shift in energy that's delivering the Republican Party back to its voters, a country back to its people, while liberating institutions from decay. This is we are seeing the same kind of shift with the electorate that during the Nevada primaries overwhelmingly voted for, quote, None of the above, as Nikki Haley literally lost an election where she was on the ballot. And literally, Nikki Haley lost to, quote, none of the above. Donald Trump was not on the ballot, of course, as many people casted a protest vote overwhelmingly for none of the above. Getting officially crushed here and... Losing to nobody. This as another major cultural shift is happening on social media, specifically institutions like Rumble and Twitter, where, of course, soon we are going to be having one of the biggest interviews on, I was going to say national television, on the national stage that is set to, of course, break many records with how many views it's about to get. And that, of course, is the larger interview between Tucker Carlson and the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin. This is something that even mainline mainstream rappers like Meek Mills are excited about as he took to Twitter and tweeted out a quote from Tucker Carlson along with the video clip of Tucker Carlson explaining what he was doing as the media frenzy around this entire incident has been continuing this entire week 
and will reach its crescendo this Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, when the interview is expected to drop on, of course, Twitter. This as even before the interview is released, we are getting news reports from Newsweek that there are European Union politicians and bureaucrats that are looking to go after Tucker Carlson, potentially ban him from entering the European Union, or even sanction him for daring to speak with the president of Russia. Huge allegations, as of course there could be some litigious actions placed against him, as this reaction for an American journalist interviewing the president of Russia highlights some very severe ramifications here, as some people are pointing to the fact that this wouldn't be a big deal if there wasn't already a conflict that has begun with this particular world leader. A conflict that many people are saying the United States is already involved in and reached, of course, global proportions as the calls, the criticisms, the shock and anger by the establishment figures towards this interview really is extremely telling on many levels. As Elon Musk took to Twitter and responded to Glenn Greenwald, who asked, why haven't there been any American journalists who conducted any kind of adversarial interview with Vladimir Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, with Elon Musk responding that it would be hard for them to talk while giving oral services at the same time, as, of course, Tucker Carlson took to Twitter and explained that he also wants to do an interview with the president of Ukraine and is willing to give him the same platform that, of course, he gave the president of Russia. This, as we all await to see what was actually going on, what was talked about, how the interview was conducted, as it's fair to say here that Tucker Carlson is an interviewer who's known for asking hard and also legitimate questions. The way that this interview will be carried out will be very carefully depicted and watched by many online content creators and also, of course, critics of Tucker Carlson that are now trying to attack him every which way they can. This says there's even some reports allegedly tying in Russian hackers to a Spain Solidarity Farmers protest. Again, unconfirmed reports. We don't know what to believe at this point in time, as some people are even going as far as to speculate that there's going to be some kind of cyber attack that's going to prevent this interview from even coming out and being released. Now, I wouldn't go as that far to speculate on this particular matter in that way. But what Newsweek is describing against potential travel bans and sanctions for Tucker Carlson is something that already exists in many ways, as of course many online personalities, news reporters, and content creators have already been banned from many countries, including individuals like David Icke, who has been banned from 27 European countries since 2022. Personally, I have been banned from Canada because of my own political expressions and ideas. As banning people for political thought is the new norm as the level of repression that the system is willing to go towards when it comes to stopping individuals from speaking the truth to the general public is extremely large. As, of course, we have with the case of Julian Assange, an individual who, of course, has been in prison, has been put under solitary confinement under the Trump administration that arrested him and charged him with espionage, even though he is not an American citizen. This says there's even reports of Tucker Carlson already being added to the Ukrainian alleged kill list, where other Russian media figures have been placed on previously beforehand and have lost their lives. As of course, it's also important to note here that Ukraine is launching unconventional warfare against Russia and its proxies. What will be the larger result of this Tucker Carlson, Vladimir Putin interview? Will there be any ramifications for Tucker Carlson to face? Well, let me know what you think will happen next down in the comment section below. As, of course, this situation is extremely unpredictable. And the, the system that has been trying to stop this interview really doesn't like this interview getting out there to the general public. So sharing this video, starting the conversations, and of course, more importantly, being a part of independent media is more crucial than ever. Without you, without uh, you supporting us, without you guys signing up, I wouldn't be here, and I'm only here because of that, and you guys sharing the videos, fighting the algorithms, fighting the people who are unsubscribed almost every single day from this channel without their consent, and because we're still here, 
This is something that's absolutely incredible, in my opinion, as of course, there's been many things that have been trying to stop us. But we are extremely resilient. We're resilient because of you. And that's why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.